Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server, and I'm here hanging out at my base and, you know, just looking at some of the builds here behind me, and this is kind of the purpose of the Revelation server, is to build things as opposed to just, you know, go tech, 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 you know, quest, 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 run through, have everything you need, get kind of OP, and then go, oh, I'm bored with this pack, and off you go. It would, it, that's not the purpose for this one. This is to build stuff. And for that, I would like to go ahead and visit a couple uh, bases and show off some of the, the builds that they've done. And just to, to show showcase the, the, the good work that the people have been doing here on the server, uh, one of the things uh, worth mentioning, oh, yeah, that up there, that's uh, Peter Pig. He's my porcine pagoda pal. <laughs> I decided to stick him on top just because of fun. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go take a look at a couple bases and um, just show off what people have done. I'm here at Blackadder 2's base, and if you're on the FTOG Discord, you may see her as Anna Black. And uh, thank you for uh, letting me come to your base. You're welcome. Yep, and uh, she's one of my patrons, so I love her lots for that because, you know, she's extra neat. <laughs> All right, so you can see the base behind me. Uh, let's go take a look at that. And I, I love your use of great wood planks. I love the, the color of those planks. Oh, free, for, free rotten flesh. Yum. So shall we go around the outside of your island before wandering in? Yes, please. All right, so you, you're getting some power, and uh, one of the things I noticed, you, you're doing a lot of immersive engineering on on your base, and I do love that mod, and I, I love the, the wires going everywhere. That's one of the, the things I love the best about the immersive engineering uh, mod, is just having wires connecting to everything. Uh, and I love how you've got water wheels, because these are providing you power, but they're also very much part of the landscape, which I do like. Okay, I'm going to fly up a little bit just to show it off. I do like that. That looks really nice. And then uh, you've got the, the big tower of, of windmills. And yeah, you've got the pipe on the inside to, to get the, the power out of that. So that's always functional, but uh, also decorative. So that's very nice. And uh, I saw around the back, you had a whole bunch of uh, immersive engineering devices going. We'll get around here, um, over there in that far building and uh, going deep into some of the, the fun builds. So, and again, running wires, oh, I love that. <laughs> it, it, just, it just says this, this is high tech. All right, so we've got fluid tanks here, one's full, and then we've got the uh, the, the, the pump jack. Uh, is this getting oil out, or what is this doing for you? It's pumping oil out uh, to my uh, refinery. It's at the back, the, the great distillation tower. And from the distillation tower, I'm making diesel and lubricants and gasoline. Aha, yes. And then you've got a diesel generator that's uh, using that diesel then. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's, you know, I've done some with the immersive engineering, but I've not gotten really deep into the mod. And I should do that because, like I said, the, I love these big multi-block models. They're, they're loads of fun. And uh, I, I do like those. And... Are you looking at uh, completing the, the the top of this building, or pretty much keeping it open to the air, just because you know we got big big machines? The the plan is to keep it open because my pump jack only pumps out I mean I think twenty four thousand buckets, and then it's gone. So I have to replace uh, and rebuild it in another ah. place. So then there's going to be a top on this building and doors and okay. so on. So yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. So you're just lucky to find a, an oil deposit down below. That's why the bridge is here. So. 
that's lucky. All right, so let's uh, go inside your base, and, and uh, you've got several things going on inside there. Yep, <laughs> quite a lot of things going on in here. It's a mess, but it works. Yep, and I like the, the, the building itself. You know, I, I'm a big fan of the dark oak, but just the, the regular oak just looks so very nice having, you know, the, the stone brick and wood. That's my combination. I, I go with that <laughs> without thinking. I have to think hard to build anything other than stone brick and wood. Which is why my base right now is stone brick and wood. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so you're going with the the uh, applied energistics too, I see. I went and refined storage. They're both great mods for storing stuff. And uh, that, that's pretty much the only two I really go to unless they aren't available. Have you tried any of the others like uh, Ender IO has a mod storage, um, also refine, um, no, RF tools. Have you tried either of those? No, it's it's like RF tools in, and well, the same f uh, goes for XNet and uh, refined storage. It, in my opinion, my opinion, it's a bit uh, cheaty. Um, Applied Energistics uh, makes you uh, plot out cables uh, with a maximum set of channels and the other mods, they don't have it. It's just uh, plunk it together, connect it and it works. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can understand that. Having having the cables means you have to, no, not cables, but channels means you have to be thinking about what you're putting where and how you're hooking everything up. And, you know, it, it, there's more thinking involved with that. That's definitely true. Yes. Uh, let's go down because I can hear the, the the disco noise in the basement. Yeah, the, the you were saying earlier that the the diesel generator here just doesn't have enough uh, diesel to keep it running continually. So the squeezer that's making the biodiesel. Yes, the biodiesel is the one to the left over here. Yeah, that one there. And, it's very uh, environmental friendly. It isn't running, so. Well, you know, if it's not running, then it's it's a hundred percent friendly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, over here, um, you've got a um, reactor, and you're saying that it's making steam for you. And, and I do like this uh, this walkway here from platforms, uh, and you know we've got the little ramps going up. I do love the look of platforms. They're they're very industrial and they just they just look nice in any build. Fluffy. <laughs> Took me a while to guess there was a wrench in the mod, so you could place the panels more easily. Oh, that's good to hear. I, I will have to play with some of these, especially if I'm building stuff up high. Um, I I would definitely need some platforms around them to to make it look nice. All right, let's come out here and where we began. Oh, this is the willows. Yeah, I, I barely got one of those willow trees last night. And I'll have to grow some because it's got a nice kind of greenish wood if it's the one I'm thinking. Oh, you've got the uh, environmental tech going on. And, you know, there's the solar and, and uh, is this a, yeah, this is the ore miner. I just really like those. They, they work very nicely on servers and they're a nice way of getting resources and power. Oh, I see what this is. This is a nice uh, farm setup here. These, oh, there's your animal sewers. That's getting, you're using this for the biodiesel, aren't you? The, the, the sewage? And using the sewage to get fertilizer, and the fertilizer I use on my plants, and my, so in a way, yes, but a couple steps removed, Oop. and automatic shearing, so you get wool. Lots. <laughs> yep. So that's good. So you can this side, I'm guessing, is for oh, no, that's the mob slaughter, animal separator, Oop. eggs <laughs> automatically. So yeah, this you're you're getting a, a good little uh, setup for for getting uh, your animals produced there. Very nice. Uh, the only, well, 
downside is I used to use uh, uh, pink slime and meat, liquid meat before for my for my uh, my food needs. But in this pack, you only can use the the liquid meat for all processing. So it's kind of yeah sad. So the the injector doesn't uh, feed you then? Well, it could, but not in the way I, I like. I like chicken nuggets, but I can't make oh. it. So. Yeah, yeah, chicken nuggets are always delicious. <laughs> so, yep, and uh, like I said, I I do love just you know stone and wood. That is my my go-to <laughs> building setup. All right, and uh, you're off next to a couple deserts, so you have all the sand you ever need. So when you need sand, uh, anything more down here? Or is, oh, that's I see that's mining going on down there. Mining and monsters. Yep. And way, way, way down is my mob farm. Ah, okay. Oh, we got banks and banks of storage. Oh, that's it's that glass, yes. Uh, yes, double uh, mob slayers, those work. And vacuum accumulators. Ah, so that's how you're picking up the, the stuff. So th that must be using uh, just the, the passive mob spawning techniques at this point. Or do you have a mob spawner I didn't see? Nope. I'm trying to collect a drop of evil, but... Yeah, the, that will... Having the cursed earth will, will definitely help out. And uh, I do love the, the ineffable glass, you know, allowing you to walk through and keep the mobs out. I haven't found any of the um, those little moonstones yet to make that. Well, I did, but only for eight. Yeah, I think that's that was just one stone, isn't it? But that that works with the the pair of them here. But it uh, looks like if you're up at the the top of the base working and doing stuff, it'll uh, spawn some stuff down here, and you're you're getting some items. Yep, I got a great idea about reusing some uh, some old armor. So uh... there you go. Yeah, you can. Are you are you thinking of repairing it or combining it or what are you doing repairing with repairing and smelting? Yep, yep. The the smelting definitely will give you a good amount of iron and and gold out of those. Yep, that'll definitely work. Well. Th Thank you very much for letting me uh, take a tour of your base and, and showing it off to people. You're welcome. All right. Thank you again. Now I'd like to show off Middle Claw's base, and I have three words for it. My oh my, <laughs> that is a massive, massive base. Now, one of the purposes of this Revelation server is to build things, not to just, you know, run through and scamper and get everything built, you know, all the, the tech stuff that you want, and then you get bored and you, you log out. And this is no small build. This is a massive structure tons and tons and tons of as you can see sandstone here and i love the water features i love how that adds a, a great color to this which is otherwise a, a very monochromatic uh, build but you also have the the little added on feature here of the the light blue concrete which kind of mirrors the water and we also have the grass inside all of that looks really, really good. Oh, oh, and the silverwood leaves. All of those nice little details look really, really good in this build. And, you know, you, you keep looking at it and go, wow, layer after layer after layer, lots of these channels of water going through. And some of these channels, you can see they, they go down and they pour through. <laughs> and then, you know, they're, they're, they're doing a lot of work. 
really, really do like how, how this build has turned out. And, and the scope of this thing, it is just massive. Uh, yeah, he, he took a, a whole lot of ex, uh, of donations for sand and sandstone. And, and uh, I know he also jumped into astral sorcery really quickly because you can make sand really fast with that. Uh, and you can see why. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff here. And the, the thing I'm curious is if he's going to be keeping this as empty as it is, or if he's going to be putting some other structures inside here, I don't know. Uh, the the thing I you can see a, a few a few bits, and and I really wish our schedules had had sunk up well enough that we we could uh, have him here to to show this stuff off. But you know, here's astral sorcery at a good height, so you can. Uh, and I'm guessing this is probably a a good area for him. Uh, over here, we've got the, the environmental tech for uh, power, and I do like that. Uh, see, bulk harvesting, some Botania stuff is going on down in that area. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm wondering if, if he's planning on, you know, this is just, again, bulk wood, but I wonder if he's going to do the kind of Babylonian hanging gardens thing with lots of greenery up here. I don't know. I'm really, really curious to see how he's he's going to do, or if he said, "I'm done," because <laughs> this is huge, and it looks so very, very massive, and I love it. The, and, and if we just take a quick look at here in the map, you can see the scale of this thing. It is just huge. It is not, you know, some simple. You know, I've been building, you know, three by three bases. This it is. <laughs> this is much, much bigger. And I do love the scale of it. And that's one of the things that's really, really fun about Minecraft is building something that is a massive scaled project. So, you know, big time kudos for Middle Claw and the scale of this thing. And I do love all this water features. Oh, I do love those a lot. And oh, hey, there's a little dirt feature in here. I'm guessing he probably hasn't got uh, the, the uh, oh, there's a little bit more dirt. I'm guessing he hasn't uh, moved the, 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 the grass over to here yet. Let's see, is it mirrored over on the other side? Yeah, see, there's there's grass over here. So I'm guessing he's he hasn't moved the, the, the grass over. And if you don't have silk touch, that's a pain. <laughs> but I'm sure at this point he's he's got silk touch to move grass around or you get the 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 void resource miner and you'll get grass blocks because I've used that to to move grass around a third way of getting grass moved about is to use chisel and bits you chisel one bit out of a piece of grass and then you can break that block with a pickaxe place that block where you want and then put that one bit of uh, chisel and bits back in place and now you've got grass again Pretty uh, sneaky way of uh, moving stuff around, but I, I love this. Uh, you know, my my basic rule for building stuff is same but different, and so you've got the very same of the 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 palettes here. You've got a, the green, the light blue of the water and the concrete, and the the yellow of the, the the sandstone. But there's also difference in that you've got different block types. You know, we got these bricks and the columns and the smooth, and all of those add a nice difference to it. And then I th I'm, I'm wondering how much vegetation is going to be placed on this, because I think that would make this look really, really nice. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm just geeking out about the, the, the sheer scale of this thing. Holy cow, that is huge. It, when, when your build starts fading out into the mist <laughs> because you can't see it all, that's a big size build. So big time kudos to Middleclaw for, for building something as massive as this. And talking about big builds, Trionis has made a very big build. That's big. <laughs> that is a very nice looking pagoda. And if, if you haven't already um, checked out uh, Trionis' channel, you should uh, link down in the description below. He's been um, doing a YouTube series of him building this and playing with stuff in Revelation and just having a blast. Uh, you can see he, this area all out here. He was swamps and waters and whatnot. He's he's leveled it out and made it to land and starting to build uh, more projects over here. 
and I, I do love a good pagoda. The, you know, there's a lot of nice, simple lines, but a lot of good looks in here. And uh, what was it that he used? He used uh, dark wood for that, but uh, architecture craft, that's what he did to sit there and, and get those. And that's a lot of resources to make, but boy, does it look really, really good. And over on this side, that uh, same but different thing, you know, a few little random blocks kind of breaks up the, the pattern, makes it look really, really nice. And uh, it, it's fiddly work but it does pay off very nicely and oh that just looks so nice i do love that that blue and the yellow and the the white it it looks really really good going together and then these this is the the chisel glass the japanese style so it looks it's it's not your typical glass and so i i love the, the look on that let's uh, head on inside and uh, you got the nice uh, yin and yang uh, symbol here there you can see it and i really really massive tall uh rooms which is which is very nice and uh, he's been going around through here doing a bunch of uh, crafting and whatnot but uh, again you know check out his uh series show what he's been doing and again architecture craft to sit there and do these nice nice curves which is really really fun looking and then uh, we'll do a sneak peek down here in the guts <laughs> underneath when, when you have such a large area underneath it it's so easy to build your stuff down here and uh loads of fun to to, to see what people are doing and you know you got a nice little doggy hi there doggy how you doing uh so really really fun builds going on in here this is not something that takes you know 10 20 minutes to build <laughs> this takes a serious amount of time to to build something this size and, and what's really really cool is this gives you a huge amount of room to build things. And now, I've been trying to spread out because that's fun too. But uh, with, with something this massive, you can put everything and anything that you need. You know, one layer, there's Thalmcraft, and then, you know, Astral Sorcery. Well, that needs to be outside a bunch. But, you know, then Botania, and then, you know, you could have all your tech stuff. And just layer after layer after layer, you could have tons and tons and tons of stuff going on in here. And I do like me a big, massive build. That is just really cool. Just look at all that. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at a couple of the builds here on the server. Uh, right now I'm at spawn and you know there's the the massive airship in the water so it's a ship ship. Uh, you've got the skull back there and the various builds and the boats. Oh I do love me a good boat. Uh, and and this is the sort of you know construction that I love on the server. Lots of attention for detail. Now, you know, of course, this was put together in creative by the build team, so, you know, that's okay. But but that should set the bar of, you know, what people should be doing here on the server. And uh, hopefully we can take a look at uh, some of the other builds that people have doing, been doing here just because of the really cool stuff that they've, they've accomplished. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. And there's a lot of cool builds. And thanks for watching. Bye.